Hey, what's up guys? This is Jerry Kiss at the East Texas Lighthouse for the Blind here in Tyler, Certified Orientation Mobility Specialist, and I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about cane tips today. I wanted to show you guys the different setups that I've got in here that help me when I travel. You know, since I do a lot of itinerant work um, with different school districts, but then I'm also out and about with clients. I've got uh, a setup here in the van that I think you guys will like. Um, let me know what you guys think. If you guys do something different, put some comments down below. Let me know um, how you operate, what, how you stay organized, things that you do as well. This little carrying case here, guys, this thing is awesome. This was 20 bucks at Home Depot. Um, you know, it's high, you know, it's pretty, pretty stinking durable. It's got metal clips here on the front, okay? But you can carry it obviously with the handle, right? So I'm just gonna unclip this for a sec and show you guys this cool thing. So it's got these compartments in here, right? Here, I'll take one out so you can kind of see. So it's got all these little compartments that you fit in here and I've just put different cane, cane tips in here by style. So pretty cool, right? Uh, that's super, super helpful. I love having this setup. It helps to keep me organized and uh, I've also got some other, other rigs over here that we'll talk about here in a little bit. Uh, so talking more about cane tips, uh, we'll just go ahead and get started. I've got uh, your classic pencil tip, right? So pencil tip is the uh, standard issue use that, that we received when we were learning how to become an O&M instructor at the university. And uh, not a bad tip, it's, uh, it's it's basic, but it gets the job done. This is just a nylon tip. This is the hook style type, right? This is for the folding cane, and then this is the slip-on style. So this is for your your rigid cane. Um, or, you know, there is the uh, older style of the, uh, the WCIB, white cane instruments for the blind, where this would slip onto the end of a folding cane, where there was a washer attached to the end. But white cane instruments for the blind um, is no longer in business, so you'll see less and less of those canes out there just a side five. Uh, so these are great for your traditional two point touch. You know, you can even use it for constant contact. You know, obviously the idea is that you grind down an edge of the cane tip so that it's easier and flatter so that you're not, not getting jammed up as much on, on cracks and that sort of thing. These aren't a bad cane tip, but um, most of the time we'll, we'll gravitate towards something else because there's just so many good options out there. So let's put these away for a sec. And we'll jump into some different styles of the marshmallow tip, right? So um, this is just a used marshmallow tip. Here, let me see if I can get a better one here. There we go. This one looks a little bit less worn, right? Uh, we'll put that one back. So marshmallow tip's great. It gives you a little bit more surface area coverage, right? So um, the variation to that is it's on a roller. It's on a ball, right? It's on a, roll, on a, a ball bearing there. And so that's intended for the constant contact use. This one's got a little bit more weight to it. Um, not, I don't use this one a lot because there's just so many good options out there. You know, um, probably gonna be using something like a ceramic tip that we're talking about here in a sec. But this one is pretty cool on a roller. It's, uh, again, this is just called the rolling marshmallow tip. You can get these in different colors, I think through, through Ambutech as well. So most of these cane tips I'm talking about, guys, these come from Ambutech. Um, you can purchase these, uh, a lot of these two from LS and S or Maxi Aids, but most of your cane tips, you're gonna have a better, you're gonna have better luck, you're gonna have a better experience if you go through Ambutech. Um, they've just got more of a complete list of what you're gonna need. Whereas LSNS and, and Maxi A's, they may have portions of these cane tips, but not all of them. That's just been my experience in the past. Uh, again, this one is intended for constant contact, the rolling marshmallow tip. And so this is great for small kids, I think, because it kind of assists with the glide and the movement of making, you know, start getting into the habit of bringing that cane from side to side, right? So it kind of encourages uh, cane coverage at an early age, and it's just easier. It's just easier for, for the beginner. Um, this is also good for some of my adult clients that may be dealing with issues related with neuropathy, right? A lack of sensitivity in the hands or, hands or the feet. Um, this just gives you more feedback, more tactile feedback. And so 
this may be a good option for that. I use this one some for those reasons. A variation of that is the roller ball. So this comes in different colors too. I think you get this in, in the classic white or the red. And then Ambitech is also playing around with some other colors that I don't, I don't really mess with, like I think green and orange or something like that. But um, I, I just try to stick with uh, either red or white. Uh, so that's just me. But the roller ball here, it's uh, on a ball bearing and it's heavier than the rolling marshmallow. It's gonna provide you with, uh, again, a lot of tactile feedback. It covers a large surface area. This thing is, is pretty heavy, which is good for um, your adult clients that are having some severe issues with neuropathy. So when you roll over that drop off, whoa, I felt that, right? It's, it's pretty hard to miss. Um, and so this just encourages the, uh, the consistency of detection. And, uh, but if I'm working with a young kid, I'd probably steer away from this one and go more with the rolling marshmallow, just because it's lighter and it's not as cumbersome to use. Um, okay, so we've also got the, where did I put that? Oh, here it is. The jumbo roller. Again, this is made out of nylon. The jumbo roller is pretty, uh, pretty good for rural settings, more so than this one. It just does a better job of gliding across the uneven areas through the sand and the gravel and the high grasses and those sorts of things. Um, I like this one for rural. This is a good option for your rural traveler. So check this one out too, Jumbo Roller. We've also got the Metal Glide, Metal Glide Tip. Uh, metal Glide Tip is, um, it's okay, right? It's, it's made out of metal, so you do get you do get more audible feedback than a lot of your nylons. Actually, that does sound pretty similar when it's on metal. But it does seem like you get more, um, when you're trailing this up against doors that are aluminum frame, that sort of thing, you do get more of a distinct uh, high-pitched ping. Um, so I like it for that reason, uh, when you're trailing, trying to find those doors. But um, the thing that I don't like about this is the shape of this disc. When you're traveling, right, two-point touch, or you're using constant contact, whatever you're doing, it tends to jam a lot because of the angle when you're using your cane. It jams up on cracks a lot. It just gets jammed up. And when you get jammed up, you have the potential of jamming yourself in the gut, right? Um, also, the biggest thing that I don't like about this cane tip is that it kind of pops off, right? Pop, you know. So it's just got a rubber fitting here, and um, it's just you know, on a little nylon ball there on the end that just pops in there. So some of these, when you order them, some of them pop off more easily than others. Um, sometimes they're a pretty solid fit. This one's not that bad. Uh, but I do see that happen a lot. People are like, where's my cane tip? Where's my cane tip? And you don't want that happening, especially when you can't see, right? Uh, so that was my biggest complaint about this one. But it does give you uh, a pretty good amount of audible feedback and it does last a little bit longer than I would say the nylon tips. Um, coming up to my favorite here, guys, this is the ceramic tip. This thing is awesome. I absolutely love this cane tip. I love the audible feedback that you get from this particular cane tip. I love the tactile feedback too. I don't know, it just seems more responsive, both audibly and tactually, right? Um, so this one is my go-to. If I'm working with somebody that doesn't have other issues going on, hands down, I'm gonna go with this. Um, it lasts forever. I refer to this as the gobstopper of all cane tips. Check this out. If you haven't used this one yet, I promise you, you won't be disappointed. Uh, again, if you're working with somebody who's got other issues going on, you may need to modify, right? Um, okay, so let's put that one away. I wanted to show you guys two other rural options for cane tips that are out there that you, you, you may not have heard of. Um, they're, you know, they're pretty new, or at least one of them is. And that is the Dakota disc, Dakota disc. Now this, this was, uh, there's, guys, there's, a, there's like a two minute video out on YouTube of a guy named Paul that collaborated with Ambutech to get this done. This is a lightweight disc. I'm not gonna go into a lot of details about, about it like he did, but I just wanted to let you know that this is really good for rural travel. Um, I haven't had a lot of experience with it yet, but I like the fact that it has a lot of surface area coverage and it does seem to glide across uneven surfaces, sand, gravel, and it gives you a lot of that good feedback when you're coming from that sand over to the gravel that's kind of loose. 
and boom, you just you can just hear it on there. You can see that in his video. Uh, I encourage you to check that out if you're considering using something like this, if you're working with somebody in a rural setting. Um, so check that out. There's one other option that I wanted to show you guys as well. This is called the Bundu Basher. This is something that um, is, is used in South Africa. So this is nylon as well. I know this is strange. It kind of looks like E.T.'s finger, right? Um, I haven't had a lot of experience with this, but I had to get my hands on one because uh, I just wanted to have one of everything, right? And so you've got to, the idea with this one is that you're supposed to be using like an S pattern as you're moving through um, the sand and tall grasses. So this one is intended for a lot of beach travel. If you're dealing with somebody that lives near a beach, and they're traveling in a lot of sand uh, and then tall grasses as well. So the idea is that you're kind of cutting through, making sure that you're still covering both sides of the body, but you're kind of cutting through that tall grass so that you can still um, make sure that the, the path ahead is, uh, is not dangerous, right? So check this one out too. Um, this one, I believe it's not on Ambutex website. So this is, it's either LS&S or Maxi Aids. But if you're interested in something like this, you can pick this one up as well and check it out. Uh, so as far as like pricing on these cane tips, they range anywhere from a couple of bucks all the way up to like 14, 15, 16, maybe $20 for the ceramic cane tip. The ceramic cane tip is the most expensive and uh, arguably so, uh, you get what you pay for, right? I absolutely love it. I promise you, you gotta check that one out. Uh, the roller balls, I don't know. I think these things are like around 12, something like that. And then the marshmallow rollers, maybe a couple bucks shorter than that, shorter of that. And then, uh, you know, your metal tips are like only a couple bucks, just like your, your nylon pencil tips. Um, so that kind of concludes the, uh, the cane tip stuff. Just wanted to talk about that. Um, for somebody that is just kind of wondering, you know, why are there so many different kinds of cane tips? I know that was something I had always asked myself and uh, just from doing this for, for a while now. Um, it's, it's just, you've got to be able to tailor it to the individual depending on the environment that they're in and their individual need, right? Um, so check this out again. This is at Home Depot, 20 bucks. Man, get something like this. This is great. You can take these out, pop them in. It keeps you organized. And so I love it for that reason. I've also got, you know, if I'm trying to, to re-tape a cane, I've got reflective tape here. You can also get that from Ambutech and the string for restringing it as well. I've got some scissors, some vice grips. If I'm trying to pull off a slip on cane tip or pull some little uh, bungee cord through or rip it out. So these are good to have. I've got a five gallon bucket here and the five gallon bucket is, uh, I've just got some, you know, a tool belt surrounding it. And so I've got a whole bunch of of old cane segments there, right? So these are great. Um, I've pulled these off of old canes that people donated that were pretty busted up that we couldn't quite fix. Or there may have just been one or two good segments left in it. And so I pulled those out. And so that when people, you know, need, need their cane fixed and they don't have 50 bucks or 30 bucks, um, we'll see if we can't fix it. And we do that a lot. Um, it's a great thing to be able to do. And uh, this is a pipe cutter here on the side. I've got some different tools here. I've even got like a filer here if I'm trying to shave off a burr from, a, from an aluminum cane, those sorts of things. Um, that happens sometimes. Yeah, here we go right here. So a file is good to have. Uh, but again, you know, guys, let me know what you think. Um, let me know maybe different things that you do, how you stay organized, um, some different options that you, that you have and uh, some things that you take with you when you're on the road. But uh, thank you guys for watching. This has been Jerry Giz challenging you to move.